Hey guys, Lone White Wolf 13 here uh, with another gun review, a BB gun review. Um, the reason I haven't made a, a game in a while is because I have GCSEs, which I'm doing in a couple of weeks, like a week. And um, I've also been see I haven't had enough money to buy another a, uh, another BB gun because I've saved up for a new camera. I won't actually bother showing you the camera because it's relative. I didn't really buy it for making gun reviews. I made it for t bought it for uh, for um, taking pictures. But anyway, let's get on to the actual gun review. Get out of here, tissue. This is the P1093 with the with the um, full stock instead of the extendable stock. It's an AK47, which everybody loves. Except there's a couple of odd things about this gun, which I'll now get into. They're basically, this out comes except with some instructions. This is the actual gun. In, its, in itself, it has uh, views and everything like that, but I'll go into that in a second. One of the first things I realised about the gun was that it... One of the first things I realised about the gun was that it didn't have a simple slide-on, slide-off stock. It had one of these, which basically... it First off, it takes quite a while to uh, slide on the stock, and then instead of just sliding on normally, these are the screws. You have to screw the, uh, the, the the holes up, you got to line them up. And the thing is, when I did this the first time, uh, the top one, this top hole here, this didn't line up with this, no matter how um, how much I, how, how far I got the stock onto the actual gun, it didn't actually click, it, it doesn't click or anything else like that, it, it, it does take a lot of power to uh, push this stock on. And the other thing, so I couldn't put that screw on. The other thing, this one fit, these two holes, wait a second, I'll move it down, sorry. These two holes fitted up nicely, except I got this one on, here. Except the thing is, wait, it comes with a screwdriver, which is sort of impossible here, I'll just do it. Sec. This is a screwdriver it came with, that's another one there. I just got a spare one of these. For, from other guns that I bought. Basically, this is the hole, and you can't actually fit the screwdriver while the stock is on it to screw the screw up. So it's impossible to actually do. It's impossible to line it up correctly. It will be like a slanted screw. So what I did was, I got a, um, a pair of pliers. I forgot they were called, the really strong ones. I'll put a title up in the video, whatever the heck it's called. And I got... um. And I got a little attachment that I use for a different sort of uh, a different sort of device that I use for uh, tightening up Diablo screws and stuff like that. Wait, let me just get this to focus. And so um, this I, I got a something that fitted the screw, clamped using the pliers. I clamped that thing, and then I had to sort of like put the pliers in, twist it like that, let go, and do that over and over again. And this is. In the end, this is what I got. This is how it turned out. So in the end, this is the best I could do. As you can see, top you can't really see it, but the top one doesn't. The, the top lines don't fit up, and uh, I managed to get the screws in perfectly. Now you may be wondering, wait a second, another stock's down here, and another gun's here. That's because. I bothered getting two of these because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a step-by-step -step paint tutorial for this gun. So um, I'll be making that at a later date. Also, I wanted two magazines because <laughs> I'm greedy. But um, that's how you put the stock on. So I'm sure you'll be able to guys to figure it out. The instructions sort of tell you roughly everything you need to know. You just got to have the right um, supplies. Right now, the magazine. It is a, what I really don't like about magazines is the spin type magazines. For all of you that don't know how these work, you open this up, you pour the BBs in, you then turn this until you see a couple of BBs pop up there. The magazine holds about 300 bullets. And you load, you can load about 150 of them into the spinning cartridge. So you spin this, 
until you'll see in a second if this thing's gonna bother to be good. Oh, there we go. Something there. So now when you load it into the gun, this is how you load it by the way. It doesn't make a satisfying clicking noise, as some people might hope, it just makes a thud sort of thing. This is now loaded. You pull the um, cocking handle back, which I'll get into in a second, like what's metal and what's plastic, and then you fire. Um, except when you take the magazine out, did you see that? BB bullets, just because they've been loaded up into the gun ready to go in, they just fall out. So that's a bit silly, really. I, it's just such a stuff I noticed, really. Um, and then when you want to empty the magazine, what you do is you let that go. But I'm not going to let it go without it pointing into this, because when you do let it go, all the BB bullets just pull out really quickly. So um, don't open this up unless if you're pointing it downwards into a uh, pot. Another thing that needs to be taken into consideration when you have these uh, spinny magazines is that if you load up 300 bullets, only like 200 of them are actually going to be used. It's a bit odd because 100 of them are going to be used to actually keep the BB bullets up here and if you don't have enough to get the force to push it up into the BB bullets into the gun then they're not going to be used. So it's a bit, it's a bit of an odd design. I don't know who thought that would have been a good idea. But a, a plus side to this is you do get about 200, it's, it, I count it as a 200 round magazine which is actually quite a lot if you, if they had used it as an ordinary one it probably would have been about 30 shots, it would have been pathetic. Anyway, let's get on to the uh, other parts of the gun. It also comes with, as I said, a screwdriver, really crap screwdriver, it doesn't work with the, uh, I mean it's a good screwdriver, it's nice and mini one, but it doesn't actually fit the screws, so that's a bit odd. Uh, sling, again, like I've said before, if you get a sling of a rifle, there's a high chance that you're going to be running through the woods or something and it's just going to snap. Although, these are made of metal, so um, this one's a little bit more reliable, I guess. And also, you come with some super flashy lab glasses, which probably would break if I shot at them. So yeah, let's not, let's not try that. Another thing I need to say about the gun is... um. It's painted blue. Airsoft World painted it blue. It's not actually the the, the uh, paint. The blue parts weren't actually molded blue, as I'll now demonstrate. Where, where um, it's been chipped or something like that. I don't know. But that's that may be a bad thing for you. I don't really care. I mean, it's blue. I'm going to be painting one of them anyway. So. Uh, What's metal about the gun? Uh, the bolt is a rather nice looking steel metal actually, I rather like that touch. Uh, the barrel is metal, crosshairs and this bit here aren't metal, of course the blue bits aren't metal, crosshairs are metal, and the safety, which I haven't got onto yet, is plastic. <laughs> uh, for a second I thought it was metal for a second, I was about to say it's metal, it isn't, it's plastic. Um, that's safe, that's ready to fire. It's a, this gun was really invented for lefties, so if you're lefty this is a really good gun for you because I hold my guns like that and the safety and the bolt are on the other side so I kind of have to switch if I want to turn the safety off I have to go like that and if I want to pull the thing back I have to pull it like that so you know it's a bit, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's new basically the crosshairs though, they're really good I really like the crosshairs because there's um this thing which you move up and down, you pinch this and you move it up and down and uh, it has heightness levels as I'll show you now so that's it lined up and if I move it down that's for it for short range so um, yeah it's actually, a, it's, it's got pretty good crosshairs actually now I use 0 0.12 GBB bullets for this gun because um it it's, it fires at 300 FPS, which it's well they say it fires at 300 FPS. Personally, I shot them at a couple of I shot this at a couple of cans, and it didn't really dent them that much. I was quite disappointed, really. I was expecting more of a punch from this gun, but um, also the accuracy on this thing because it was a rather windy day. I have to admit, 
it was I if I stood about ten meters seven meters back it would miss a lot I saw, I could actually see the bullet curving so um. One thing I need to say about the gun is that it's for looks. It's... I've never actually not suggested for you guys to get a gun. If I reviewed it, it's because it was good and I thought, hey, let's... Uh, this is a good gun, you guys should get it. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this one. I'm... unless if you're... it's about... it's £30. Um, it is good for props. I am going to paint one of them. I'm going to paint the blue parts copper. And it's going to look really good for a film that I want to make as well. Because I have two magazines, I'll be able to do the whole, oh no, my magazine's empty, switch, awesome reload scene, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's your choice, really. It's, if, it's a, basically, it's another gun to add to the collection. That's how I look at this. Um, that's all I really wanted to say. If I've forgotten anything about the gun, I'll uh, put it up on the screen now. Well, in annotations, but, like the details and stuff. Uh, I got another review coming out in about a week, which is actually I'm looking forward to making. I'm going to make it straight after I've done this. I'm going to review the uh, product straight after I've done this video. Um, but then I'm going to upload it a week later. So uh, I'll see you guys then. Um, thank you for watching the video. Links for the gun is in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.